In my effort to look more and more crazy in these videos, my hair is just going straight up today. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, it has been just like crazy since I started using a new hair product. So just straight up, you know, whatever. I, I literally just brushed it. No idea why it's still looking so crazy. But anyways, uh, today is... Uh, Thursday, March 14th, 2024, uh, video is coming a little late because I was watching the, uh, SpaceX Starship, uh, try to go into outer space and come back without exploding, which, uh, as of, uh, 1030 this morning, it looks like, uh, they were unable to do that. Both the, uh, lifter, uh, exploded, uh, and the, uh, Starship itself exploded on re-entry. Um, at least they had lost... Uh, telemetry uh, with the thing uh, coming back and they hadn't been able to return telemetry uh, 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 back. So uh, I, I gave up on it after like 30 minutes of just waiting around for them to uh, just blabber on about, uh, you know, heat tiles and that kind of stuff, which, you know, as a kid of the 80s, I, I know what heat tiles are. Uh, they uh, It's nearly the same tech that they used on the spaceship, space shuttle, sorry. Uh, and I actually got to hold one of those, uh, at the, uh, Kennedy Space Center. Uh, I've taken a few field trips there. Not as interesting as you would hope, uh, because, uh, they don't have interactive, uh, exhibits. It's mostly, uh, static stuff. At least it was 20 years ago when I went there. Who knows what it looks like now? Maybe, uh, if you've been there, uh, since, uh, 98, <laughs> you could tell me if the, the, the place is better or not nowadays, a little more interactive. Uh, I just know I got a stark white NASA hat last time I went, and I love that thing. It had like a little rope that went around the, the top of the bill. It, it was great. It was fantastic. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, yesterday uh, I did a whole bunch of contract work and got my first real payment from that contract work. So that was a huge celebration. Um, oh, man, I, uh, I have a uh, bottle of uh, fizzy juice set aside for me and my wife to drink uh, a couple glasses of, uh, non-alcoholic obviously, uh, to, uh, to celebrate the, uh, um, incoming payment. So, uh, that's been in there since, uh, my, uh, last job was severance uh, back in January. So two months later and I'm getting a couple hundred dollar, uh, paycheck, but it's, uh, you gotta celebrate the small ones because if you don't, who will, uh, and all you're going to, remember is commiserating the, uh, the losses. Uh, so anyways, uh, I need to, uh, put that on th the to-do list, uh, tonight, uh, which is to drink fizzy juice with my wife. Uh, but, uh, uh, later today I'm going to try to do a little bit of yard work. Uh, it is pollen season here in town, so it is disgusting outside. Uh, you, uh, I walk out there and it's just like pollen caked in your lungs. The, the second you, you walk from your house to your car, it's all like 20 feet walk for me um my black car is now like a uh, bumblebee yellow because of all the pollen anytime i blow off the driveway I, I really need to wear a mask because it's just too much man these trees are just like spewing the stuff into the air and we're all just walking around like it's normal it, it's not normal to have uh, tree stuff uh on your face and uh lungs and all that it, it's, it's gross um kind of got off on a tangent there uh, okay, so uh, maybe I'll do some yard work. I'm definitely going to uh, go to the uh, uh, movies today, uh, which I'm going to go see Love Lies Bleeding, which has uh, Kristen Stewart, uh, who was on uh, the Colbert show, uh, looking absolutely amazing. Uh, the, uh, the dress that she wore uh, was, was fantastic. Uh, but I don't think that's... Like, the way she looked in that interview is not the way she looks in this movie. Uh, she looks very, uh, like, everyday, must-up person kind of, you know, thing. Like me, here I am sitting, you know, sleeves on. Like, that kind of thing. So, but uh, it's an A24 movie. Uh, the trailer was uh, insanely good. And I like the uh, the movies that she's choosing to uh, uh, either produce, direct, or uh, 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 participate in. Uh so, uh, I'm hopeful that this one's going to be a good film too. I'll report back to you. You'll see a post about it somewhere. Uh, and, uh, what else do I got going on? I got the movie. Uh, oh, I'm going to try to clean some, uh, bubble filters in my, uh, 240 fish tank. Oh, and my, uh, Twitch accounts. Uh, both of them were uh, reinstated by Twitch. 
no comment from them about what it was that uh, uh, caused the issues or what I could do to prevent it in the future. Uh, it's the problem with these companies that feel like uh, they don't need to have a customer support team that actually talks to people because they've scaled their income, but they haven't scaled their support. So they've got all these automated processes just running without anyone that's actually accountable for them. And it, it's just very frustrating that like every time that Twitch wants to send me a $50 payment that the accounts get banned for fraud. Like this time it happened in the middle of me building a Lego set for the first time in a couple of weeks. And I don't know, it, it was very frustrating. I'm happy to be back on the platform though. Uh, but now I'm uh, putting some YouTube stuff in place that at least it'll be a, a different uncaring corporation uh, uh, to be my backup. Cause I'm using restream.io to stream to both of them at the same time. Which honestly, I feel like I should be able to figure out how to stream to two different sources uh, through OBS locally, but uh, that's work and it doesn't make me money. So I don't need to be spending time on that. So anyways, uh, I think that's it. Uh, we got some rain coming in this weekend and then I've got some softball and baseball games to go to because my wife wants to go to a baseball game, which I don't know, man. I don't know. 